Believe it or not, rugby is no longer a man's game. In fact, Canada's women's rugby team is taking center stage thanks to the efforts of our next guest. She is one of the best in the world. It is so great <laughs> to have you here. Maria Sampson, hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, great, congratulations. Thank you so much. A silver medal placing in the world yeah. for women's rugby. Yeah, second best in the world. Are you, are you, is it, has it sunk in? Um, Let me show this off. It's starting right here. to, yeah, go ahead. I mean, you know, as an athlete, you're uh, hyper competitive. So immediately after the game, there's, there's definitely that first bit of uh, disappointment. But coming home to Canada and, and hearing everybody's support, and, you know, people said that watching our games was life changing, which is, you know, incredible. Mm -hmm. And it really hits you. Hits you right in the heart. It really is oh. amazing because we haven't seen a women's rugby team go that far ever. Yeah, and, and the most amazing thing was that people were actually able to watch. It was no mm. longer this bad stream with no commentary. It was, you know, full blown right. on TSN. They, they broadcast every single game. We were so lucky and, you know, to literally make history that when we beat France in that semi final game, I mean, we knew that was, you know, that was the, the epic moment of the tournament. Yeah. To be in a different country. Uh, it must have been in itself thrilling. Absolutely. I mean, France put on an amazing show. It was first class. They have a, you know, the FFR, is, they have a compound, essentially, that has multiple rugby fields, housing, where mm -hmm. we ate all our meals. Um, you know, they had the support, literally, of the entire country, two and a half million people watching the games. Um, all our games were sold out. It was wow. absolutely incredible. You know, full-size posters everywhere. They is there still, you know, job. I, I mentioned it earlier, but is... Is there still a stigma that rugby is still a man's game? Um, is, is that, is, are you the, finding a change? There, oh, there's definitely been change over the years. I think a lot of times people meet girls. I mean, a lot of the girls aren't six feet and as you know, broad shoulders as I am. And they go, you know, to those girls, what? You play rugby? Like, you're so, you know, cute or dainty. But absolutely not. I mean, we're a fierce team. There's fierce and rugby it's players. Tough. It's tough, tough, but it's, uh, it's fun. It's very much a camaraderie sport. You know, beers after the game, <laughs> uh, clubs, club level. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, but that's uh, there's that sense of community that as soon as you step off the pitch, whatever happened on the field is over, and you go and you have a meal together, and you know you go out on the town together. It's, it's very much community-based sport. So, have, sorry. Have you noticed a lot more uh, support since coming back? A lot more interest in the sport? Yeah, absolutely. And I have coworkers uh, where I work with no idea I played rugby. Um, there's definitely, you know, somebody immediately after the game. Actually, one of the, one of my friends who Calgary who came to watch. She said second place was actually the best you could have done because had you gotten gold, then all the work is done. Yeah. And so getting silver means Look at that. we're still going to pump into the program and, and we're going to go for gold the next time. And Stay it's positive. a great step for women's rugby. Absolutely. I mean, there's so much interest. There's a Try for Gold program that Rugby mm -hmm. Canada is putting on to try to find athletes for the 2016 and 2020 Olympics. So it's, it's definitely growing. When you were in high school, yes. were you playing rugby? Were you an athlete in high school? Uh, I was very much an athlete. Yeah, very much sport. My, actual, my first sport was actually boys football. <laughs> so I played five years on the boys football wow. team. Yeah, yeah, that was during the fall in uh, small town Quebec played basketball over the winter and then in the spring it was uh, rugby or swimming and I'm not a very good swimmer and actually terrified of the water so, so, so did the I coach I'm sure the rugby coach came to you and said hey Maria we, we got to talk so well rugby was very new at our school and so our rugby coach is actually our football coach and he had a rugby for dummies book mm. and that's how he taught us <laughs> It was and, amazing. And that was it. Yeah, Farmtown, Quebec, and it was fantastic. Yeah. Do you find that there's more of a an interest in rugby, women's rugby, in the West or in the East, or is there any difference? Uh, Quebec has a fantastic, strong program. They really built it from the grassroots up. They have an incredibly yeah. strong university program, and then um, Ontario is strong. Alberta, I'm the only Alberta athlete, mm -hmm. so it, it's picking up. Mm -hmm. um, the University of Alberta is the number one ranked university in Canada right now, so wow. they'll definitely have athletes coming up. And then BC, Vancouver, and Victoria, where the rugby Canada offices is definitely strong there. Climate plays. Climate, a, a exactly. They can play all yeah. year round. Yeah. yeah. What's next? Because here you huh. go, you know, you, you're, you're right, <laughs> and, and your coach is right too to say, look, uh, we haven't reached the goal. We want to get yeah. to that point. Yeah. But right now, you, you must, well, what is next? Um, on a personal level, I mean, there's obviously been a lot of uh, little niggly injuries over the last few years, and everything's been the build up for World Cup, which means you can't necessarily rehab as much as you like to. Right. So that's kind of my focus for the next little bit. Um, I love rugby, I love high level rugby, and I love the girls that, you know, that I played with um, in France. So okay. it, it's. If I do retire, it's going to be definitely a tough decision, but I'm not there yet. And I'm, just, I'm looking forward to April and being able to participate in the next camp. 
And you guys are going to try for 2018? So 2017, 2017. there's a little bit of a, of a, of a caveat there because sure. of the Olympics and the mm -hmm. way the World Cup 7s is going to work. We actually get bumped up a year sooner, uh -huh. which kind of makes you foam at the mouth a little bit more. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank yeah. you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Not only for yourself, but also for Team Canada. Thank you way, so much. Way to wear this proud because yeah. every one of us here, we're just thinking, this is so awesome. Yeah. It's so awesome. unreal. It is unreal. Yeah. So great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Marie Sampson, um, why rugby just isn't a man sport anymore. She's proven it, and they're doing amazing things. Still to come, Calgary communities coming together. Here's what's happening in and around our city. This is Trending on Shaw.